Rec, 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 rec League Podcast. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your haters. Available on Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Breaker, Radio Public, and Spotify. At Rec League Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. At Rec League Pod on Twitter. Episode 4 available now. Yo, whether you watching this on Facebook, Twitter, click the link on my Instagram or YouTube itself. What up, world? I just watched A Simple Favor. It stars Anna Kendrick, Blake Lively, uh, Henry Golding, Glinda Braganza, Andrew Rannells, Linda Cardellini, Rupert Friend, Gene Smart, and Sarah Baker. It is directed by Paul Feig, who directed Bridesmaids, The Heat, Spy, and the uh, Ghostbusters reboot. And uh, if you want to get a shout out in my review of, let me stay on the safe side and say small foot, stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how you can do that. You got Anna Kendrick. She is a single mom heavily involved in her young son's school activities and planning and volunteering and all of that. Her son is friends with Blake Lively's son and they... They become friends while their kids are playing. Blake Lively is career driven, confident, intimidating, and she knows she knows who she is, you know what I mean? And um, you know, as they become closer friends, they do things for each other. Anna Kendrick does things for Blake Lively. And when she does something, when she does a simple favor. Blake Lively never comes back. You know, Blake Lively just disappears. And uh, between the authorities and Anna Kendrick and Henry Golding, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a mystery. Like, what happened to, to Blake Lively? When, when this movie started, the music kicks in. The, it, it has opening credits. Like, the first movie to have opening credits since 2003 I knew this movie was way too sophisticated for me, but I like the trailers. I enjoy the director. Um, I be crushing on Anna Kendrick, and I was interested in the movie. So, what did I think? I think this may be my favorite Paul Feig movie to date. I really enjoy Bridesmaids. I think it's a hair overrated. I think my favorite movie of his before this was Spy. Actually, the heat might be a little underappreciated too. But um, it's like it's it's like Paul Feig put his own spin on a Gone Girl esque story. You know what I'm saying? Um, the wife disappears. Nobody knows what happened to her. And this one just has a friend that is mixed in the whole whirlwind of chaos. And we're practically with Anna Kendrick for the entire story. The, la the layers of the onion get peeled back and more is revealed and it just gets crazier and crazier. And she keeps doing this this vlog channel cooking tip show and like updating her, her viewers. And it's, it's, just, it's crazy and, and weirder and she uses it to her advantage. And also like it's, I, I can't explain how crazy it is the more and more without spoiling anything the deeper it goes this actually might be this is my favorite lead role for anna kendrick from anna kendrick like because it's not better than scott pilgrim versus the world but she was a side character in that i think the first thing i saw her in was 50 50 i'm a fan i've seen a lot of her stuff she like two three years ago she had like 20 movies in a year and it was all good. What was it like? 2016. Like Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates came out. The Accountant came out. Trolls came out. And I, I liked all of those. And this is the best I've seen from Brooke Blake Lively too. I've liked her in like everything I've seen her in, which is like a small sample size of Green Lantern, The Shallows, Accepted. I had like I like all of those too. Like I like. I mean, don't even hate. Like I like Green Lantern for what it is, but it's not a great comic book movie. I thought Paul Feig, being the director, was going to beat you over the head with the humor. And it's it's funny when it needs to be, but it's not overly funny. There's this cop that keeps showing up that provides you know, a couple humorous moments. But like 
ironic humor, not like straight comedy, not like bridesmaids. One of one of the one of the parts that I that I really liked is just Anna Kendrick in the um uh, in like her soccer mom van and she's listening to the radio and going along with the words and it's not a song that you would expect. You would expect it to be like some Taylor Swift type stuff, but she holds bars better than a lot of your favorite rappers out there. Um and Henry Golding is really dope in this too. Like I never got a chance to see Crazy Rich Asians, so I don't I don't know what all the hype is about. But he's in this, and as the male lead, he's really good in moments of concern, of mourning. He doesn't have that many humorous moments. Come to think about it, um, but man, like I, I, it's based on a book that I of course have never read, and. And I, I had, I, di I didn't literally have money, but I think I've said on wax that I thought there was going to be a Melissa McCarthy cameo. There's not. I really thought she was going to get squeezed into this somehow, but I never saw her. And man, actually, man, this is this is one of the bigger surprises of the year for me. I feel like I've said that a lot lately, and, but I, I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. It's definitely my favorite new release of this weekend. So with all that being said, man, I will say that in my opinion, A Simple Favor is dope. Have you seen A Simple Favor? What you think about it? Positive, negative, somewhere in between? Let me know. Um, if you want that shout out, be the first, be correct before noon central time Sunday with the top five movies at the box office this weekend. You got, um, you got Predator, A Simple Favor, White Boy Rick. The Nun is a holdover. Searching is a holdover. Peppermint is a holdover. To all be considered, like, I don't know what the top five is going to be. Christopher Robin could be in there. Mission Impossible could be in there. The Crazy Rich Asians could be in there. So I've, I've recently posted reviews for The Predator, White Boy Rick, Peppermint, Searching. Check those out. My top five favorite movies of summer, man. Check those out. Uh, next weekend, I might see The House with a Clock in His Walls. The weekend after that, I might see Night School. I will see Smallfoot. And um, Rec League Podcast, man. Four episodes in the can. I hope everybody's watching, listening, liking, telling their friends about it. Tell your friends about me. Uh, so like, subscribe, comment. Find me where you find me, man. Don't know where to find me. Watch these credits. Peace.